How are you there? How are you doing? Okay, you're welcome to today's um, lesson. And our topic for today, like you have seen on the screen, is data and information. Some people use those two words interchangeably, but actually they are not really the same. Okay? Now, so today we're going to look at the difference uh, between data and information, the meaning, and as well as the sources of data and information. Now, let's start. Now, data can be defined as unprocessed facts. Okay? They are unprocessed. They don't make sense. For example, if I come to the class or I come to your place and I just started saying some random words like cup, four, table, on, big, one. You'll be like, what is Mr. Moses saying? These words don't make sense. Okay? So, but those are actually uh, uh, examples of data. That's why data are unprocessed facts. It can also be described as raw materials for creating information. What this means is that from data, we can get information. Data can be in a form of numbers, letters, symbols, or pictures. Examples of data are 0, 1, 2, ball, cup, table, like I said. Now, let's look at information. Information is processed data, meaning it has been placed in a, in a particular pattern. Data that has been arranged well. It can be easily understood, used, and exchanged with people. Information, please take note of this. Information is more meaningful than data. When data is organized, it becomes information. It will package data very well because of it. Now, let me give an example. I talked about data being things like cup, table, four. But if I want to use information, I can say there are four cups on the table. That is information because it makes sense. I didn't just say random words. There are four cups on the table. I guess you get it now. Let's look at more examples of information. An adult has 206 bones. It makes sense, easily understood. So that is a information. My name is Jessica. That is easily understood because it makes it both, if that is information, but if it is data, it doesn't correlate. It just goes different numbers like zero, ball, cup, one, seven, yay, this and that. So it doesn't really make sense. But information is well arranged and makes sense, okay? The main difference is that information makes more meaning than data. So if somebody asks you the difference between data and information, you'll say information has more meaning than data. And also, information is gotten when data is processed, okay? So data is unprocessed fact, why right? information is processed fact. Now we have this uh, difference between data and information. Data is unprocessed fact, why information is processed fact. That's number one. Number two says, sources of the, uh, uh, number two says, information is more meaningful than data. And then we have sources of data. How do we get data? Those numbers we write, people writing things. One, by observation, you look. For example, if you go to the road and you want to get cars, okay, maybe a yellow car pass, passes by. You're right, yellow, you got one, and a blue car, blue, two. You are observing and looking what is happening, then you are taking record. That's a source of uh, data. Number two is survey, okay? Survey is uh, like, like questionnaire, things you write to give to people so that you can get some data from them. Okay, when you grow up, you're going to do more of surveys. Now, sources of information. We can get information from the following one, books. Yes, you read your books to get information. Newspapers, yes. If you go to some places, you see people still reading newspapers, opening up magazines, and they're checking what is happening because they want to know in detail. They want to have meaningful, meaningful things, things that make sense, not like data. So if you want to get information, you can get them from magazines, newspapers. The radio, yes. People still use radio. They go to the, uh, uh, they take their phones or they use their radio set to listen to the news or information. They are getting uh, the news for information. Now, television, of course, 
you watch TV sometimes to get information about what is happening, especially mom and dad. You see them put on the TV and listening to the news. They'll be like, hmm, so this is this about this. There's been information on COVID and information on school and different things. And uh, just where you are watching me now, you are getting information from uh, videos, okay? Internet. The internet is the most common source of information today. Is the most common source or the most widely uh, uh, so, uh, uh, used source of information, okay, that people use today. Now, if, for example, I don't know a particular thing, I can just take my phone or take my computer and I ask, what is the area of a circle? And the information for the area of a circle will be given to me because I'm using the internet. I'm going to use a web browser to do that. Okay, when we go to search engines and the internet will do that. Now, other source of information is video and audio tapes. You're listening to me now, you're watching the video. That is a source of information. Okay, now I'm going to look at this evaluation with us so that when we want to do it, we'll do it together. I will say, what is data for the evaluations? And remember, let's say together, I said data is unprocessed fact. Don't forget that. Data is unprocessed fact. Then it says here, what is information? I will say information is processed fact. Okay? Information is processed. Data is unprocessed. We get information from data. All right. Now, the third one says, what is the difference between data and information? I told you that the difference is that information makes more meaning. And also, information is processed while data is unprocessed. Very good. Now, list three sources of information remember they are already here sources of information books newspaper magazines radio television internet video and audio tapes okay so we have so many sources of information okay that's very good now remember to watch this video again until you get a full grasp of it okay take good care of yourself see you some other time bye